Welcome to our look at Indigenous Peoples of Canada. Today we look at the Inuit. Place. The Inuit have been on the Labrador coast for over 800 years, since the 1200s. That's the same as Middle Ages and what we think of as medieval times. When a group called the Thule came across the Canadian Arctic and settled here, they began to be known as Inuit. The environment here was in harsh and cold and covered in snow and ice. Dwellings. In winter, they would build sod huts cut into the earth for warmth. When traveling or hunting on the snow and ice in winter, they would build igloos out of blocks of snow. Igloos were domed buildings which protected them from the cold and the elements. In the summer, they would build tents made from animal skins. Transportation. The Inuit would travel far and wide to find resources and to visit others. In winter, they would hunt by dog sleds called kamutet. In the water, they would use kayate, kayaks, for individuals which were made out of wood or bone frames and animal skins. They were fast and quiet, which would be great for hunting, and they were lightweight so a single person could transport themselves with ease. An umiak was a larger boat which could hold up to 20 people and could be used to hunt for whales. Food. Inuit migrated at different times of the year to be able to find resources and food. In the spring and summer, they would sing songs to attract whales when they hunted. They fished for cod, salmon, arctic char, and they collected bird's eggs. In the fall and winter, they fished for trout. All year round, they would hunt caribou on land or seals and walrus from ice or kayaks. Also, they hunted ducks and geese. Tools. They used natural resources to form their tools. They used bones to make needles for sewing, utensils, tools, and runners for sled. They were great inventors. They developed an unak, that's a harpoon for seal and whale hunting, an ulu, a knife for preparing skins, and a soapstone lamp called a quillic. They used sabiksuk, which was a big snow knife for cutting blocks of snow to make their igloos. And they used a kakavak, which was a three-pronged spear used for shallow water fishing made from bone and antlers. The middle prong speared the fish and the other two had hooks on it that would hold the fish in place so it could not escape. Clothing. They used animal skins and fur for cloth and they used sinew as thread to make clothing. Sinew is the tissue that connects muscle to bones. Stitches were very small so that water couldn't enter the clothing or sell skin boots called kamik. Caribou skins were made into parkas. These were hooded, tailored coats. Caribou fur is hollow with air inside, so it acts as a good insulator to keep the wearer warm. Medicine. Seal fat was used for skin cuts, burns, sore throats, or earaches. Tree bark was used for pain relief, and they used plants for skin problems. These were also steeped or boiled and made into teas to help digestive problems. Labrador tea was the most common and was used for stomach problems and fevers.